Well, for now we have got a little lion cub chewing on a stick and having a scratch at the same time. The lovely thing about lion cubs is that they're not necessarily sleepy for too long. And even in the heat of the day, sometimes their playful urges slightly overwhelm them and they <laughs> get distracted. Short attention spans like little children. There's perfect symmetry on their backs with their heads facing in opposite directions. Nothing quite looks as comfortable as a leopard, but lions come pretty close, especially when they've managed to contort themselves into strange positions like this and somehow manage to look perfectly at peace with the world around them. And, of course, those of you who are eagle-eyed and familiar with the way that our <laughs> personal space is definitely a thing, or well, not a thing, in a lion cub's world. But what I was going to say was those of you who are sharp-eyed and have been watching the way that the landscape is changing, isn't it lovely to see this much green grass? Okay, it's not overwhelming. But, okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. But there's definitely green coming through. A couple of shoots here and there, enough to, for the animals of this area, they're going to be incredibly grateful for it. Oh, yep. Have you abandoned your stick for now, little one? And Tucker, who is four years old, Tucker, aren't these little baby lions so cute? Tucker's worried that the bugs are bugging the little baby kittens. And Tucker, not too much, though there are some flies that are sitting on their ears and they kind of like when they come and they sit on us, you swish them away with your hand. The lions do that with their ears, so if you look really closely, Tucker, look closely and you'll see the flies buzzing around the little lion cub's ears and they are like kittens just a little bit bigger so we call them cubs but they are they're not bugging them too much there you see the little lion cub is very capable of dealing with it just shaking his head to displace them to make them go away and sometimes oh even snapping at them to try and catch them in its teeth so it's just like us Tucker if you've ever had flies buzzing around you, maybe when you're drinking juice or something similar, and then lots of flies come and sit around you, or maybe some bees, it's like that for the lions, but not too bad. And all they've got to do is swish their tail or their ears, and the flies will fly away. And they get used to it, because this is winter. Winter time, we don't have too many bugs. But in summer, we get lots and lots and lots. And in summer... Uh, a lion's ears are constantly busy moving around, so they don't even have to think about it. It's totally involuntary, shifting their ears like that. So the, lion cub, the lion's ears are constantly moving, their tails constantly flicking in summer to get rid of the flies sitting on their ears. Outstanding by James. Sorry, everybody. James just called me in a Scottish accent. James, Buffles are cut line at the junction with Buffles are west. If you look, there is a bush willow about maybe 20 meters from that junction, west from that junction, right on the side of the road, bush willow. So James was just off asking for some instruction as to how he gets a bit closer to, oh, sorry, trying to find those white-faced owls. And I have to admit to having had some help in finding them in the first place. So if you don't know where they are, they are very, very tricky to see. Which is, of course, why they look the way they do. But James can talk about that when he's managed to find them. Which I have complete faith he will do. For now, our lion cubs <coughs> settling down. 
the milk bar is open once again and you have to have some serious respect for these lionesses that their bodies are able to keep up with the needs of as many cubs as they do and of course they allo suckle so it's not just their own cubs it's the cubs of other females as well so she's lactating and the lioness at the, at the back it also looks as though she has mm, no actually sorry I'm not a hundred percent convinced that she's been suckled from in quite a while she was lactating at one point but it doesn't look like her belly's got the marks from the cub suckling that what that means is that one lioness can have four or five cubs even up to eight at one time battling over access to her milk Jandre, how many did we see? It was five or six. Six maybe that one day. The first day Jandre and myself ever saw the Styx cubs properly. And in fact, it was my first, my second sighting with the Styx cubs, but I'm not sure the first one really counts. They were about half a kilometer away off our boundary, and we were fully zoomed in to try and watch. And then the female rolled over, and we saw a cub once. That was pretty much the extent of our first Styx cub sighting. So my first proper Styx cub sighting, they were all fighting over access to milk. And noisy.